Hi everyone, my name is Francois Ablé and I am the main trainer and founder of Globus 3 Trader Academy, which is GSTA. Uh, so now you, you can find us or reach us uh, through the uh, the official page on for Facebook or also the YouTube channel. Well, I hope that you're doing well and you got a nice weekend with the Mother's Day. It was very nice here, over here because we have a, a great weather. So now let's start with the this program. So before to going through, I would like to let you know about the disclaimer, which is very important because the most of retail traders, unfortunately, do not care about their, their responsibility and also the, the, the risk on this activity. Trading is not a game, it's a, it's a job. You need to be very, very uh, patient. You need to, uh, to learn, to take your time and do not just not worry because uh, it's your money. You have to please be careful to out with your money. So, um, weekly market technical analysis, which is the uh, the eighteenth uh, program of, of of the of this year, it take it take account to fourteen to eighteen, and uh, as usual, we the summary presented for assets, we uh, we see USD CAD as usual, Dow Jones and gold, and also real bond. So I will now show you the techniques. And all the stuff for the chart. So let's start with the US dollar before to going to see the other product. So at the uh, US dollar, US dollar is a very important chart. I, I show you every time uh, as much uh, as I can because USD CAD is related with all the uh, all all the others product that we're gonna see through this program and also through the time because uh, when you see the 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 like the uh, the evolution of the USD CAD. It can bring to you some information, technical information, and also all the like some traps that you can avoid if you have uh, if you very pay attention to this chart, the chart of the USD CAD. So as uh, fundamentally, we know that uh, USD CAD got some uh, like the it was supported by. Uh, many uh, great news and many also uh, like suspicion and speculation about the the possibility for the Fed to hike uh, three or four times uh, this year the rate interest and also it was supported by the 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 figures of the inflation the CPI and then we we have now kind of uh, a brief a brief of the of this chart and I. Um, I told you before that to to very careful about the the US US dollar because some people can interpret it that US US dollar are, is very bullish, but as we see now on the chart, we see that with the uh, the Ishimoku indicators, we see that we we, we can we can uh, there is some uh, big resistance at the US dollar chart index for the FXM. We have a, a, a major resistance at the twelve thousand. And it can go into int here to break here and to going back kind of pull back. That's as that's what I told you before, and in this same uh, same uh, program, and uh, it's it's gonna be like it it, it maybe happen because when we see that the uh, lagging span, which is the filter of the Ishimoku system, he doesn't cross the uh, this descending channel. So now we we can see that the the markets. Just a waiting for the retail sales uh, for the U.S. is it will be I think released to the Wednesday. So now on the U.S. dollar it, will, it can be like neutral and is we for sure affecting other pairs as like uh, the um, U.S. Uh, U.S. the Dow Jones or also the gold or also uh, the euro dollar. So all the 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 product which is related with the dollar. Will be affected by the the progression or by the evolution of uh, this chart. So you have to be very careful. My uh, expectation that I I told you before, I'm not um, bullish on US dollar. Of of course I see that he is he has a good momentum. He has a good uh, bullish momentum, but on the through the the time and at the long term and the, and the mid term, I think that the dollar will be uh, he, he is already the He's already do uh, his uh, his stop, okay. 
So now we can go in to this is chart is a uh, weekly. We can see through like the daily chart or maybe four hours. We see, of course, clearly that is some is uh, trying to uh, get out of this zone. This is the twelve thousand zone, but it, it just like uh, be lateral lateralized or stuck through the the, the zone between twelve thousand and uh, eleven uh, eleven. 870 or 880 right so very careful with uh, the, the volume of dollar as if I can zoom uh, if I can zoom big to see clearly we see that the uh, the projection of the, the the cloud is very tightening so it's not like widen because we see that we can feel the pressure or on the um, on the on this uh, on the dollar because dollar is very uh, politicized uh, by the, the the president Donald Trump. You don't have to be careful about the, the policy of the, the Donald president, American president Donald Trump. He's he want to uh, to keep the uh, he want to keep the, the dollar low, cheap, to be very competitive, and also he doesn't like he don't he don't want to uh, increase the value of dollar because of shortfall on the on the on dollar the, the debt. So that's all the reason that the dollar, I don't see the dollar uh, bullish over the, the, the few weeks coming, okay? So very careful with that. You can, uh, at, the short, at the short term of the scalping, if you're a scalper, you can, for, of course, buy the, the dollar. So that means you have to short uh, all the pair related to uh, for dollar. But at long term or mid term, very careful with that because it could be, uh, like, corrected massively to coming at the previous uh, level so the same same notice at the usd cat if you see on the uh sorry if you see at the at the week is a pretty the same uh graph here that i, I showed I, I, I already showed you before the critical level at the um and the month which, which is represent the monthly close which is dollar twenty nine four hundred which is the equal line here and we, uh, I told you before to be very careful if you stay b between dollar twenty nine and dollar twenty seven. Uh, this is the resistance and support level. This kind of pivot, pivot point. So this zone is very uh, difficult to pass to before to going through that. So just waiting. If you break this gray zone, which is dollar twenty seven four hundred, then we can short the USD card until uh, maybe the dollar 25 because it's very uh, a nice support that you can buy or you can just like be uh, careful with that because as the major structure on the long term on usd cad we see that it's kind of uh, a channel okay is a kind of progression or continuation movement on the channel and as long as we stay in this channel inside the channel we can uh, expecting for um, a bullish movement or if you going back to the previous level here on the lowest in 2017, and we break that as uh, represent maybe dollar 2300 is very long so far. You can maybe in the long term we can see that, but as as long as we we see that the dollar that I show you before is the dollar is show as a kind kind of weakness a sign, and then you can uh, take. Uh, a note, and you can short the USD card because the the oil the level of oil is very high, so that that uh, strengthen the the dollar card, and then we can you can make some anticipation for the market. We anticipate for sure they will price the, the the movement, and then we can short the USD card. So that that's the my strategy that I'm just waiting about that, and if I see on the daily chart or maybe four hours chart, look. You see the pretty the same thing as I describe uh, you uh, now, you know. So we, we can we can have some kind of temporization, and they just looking and await maybe the retail sales as we will we will see uh, in two days, you know, Wednesday or I think uh, yeah Wednesday, Wednesday the retail sales score, and uh, because retail sales is a kind of lady indicators is drive the inflation and is show how how they can deal with the policy the monetary policy for. Uh, for the uh, economic as uh, Canada and also as uh, as the uh, US
So, so it's a pretty the same obs observation. So now you see kind of pull back at the dollar twenty eight. Just waiting, just we break this gray zone, which is dollar twenty seven uh, four hundred, and now we can short the the USD CAD until maybe the dollar twenty five um, two hundred fifty kind of. So the pretty same observation as uh, the US US the US thirty, which is CFD of uh, Dow Jones. It's kind of looking very bullish. As we see here, we trying to uh, cross the uh, this descending uh, wedge, and we kind of pass through this uh, this wide uh, wide uh, cloud for Ishimoku. And here he is very a a big uh, a big uh, resistance as a, a 25 25,000, which is a critical and psychological. Law. Uh, a zone so just waiting because we can go in that and as long as we you see here the filter uh, for the Ishimoku cloud which is projected a uh, 20 uh, 26 period before if you don't cross this zone which is very very important uh, I see that the, um, uh, the, the, the 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 Dow Jones it could be going here and now just doing a pause a break and then going back because the thing that you have to know it's uh, we we have close to the, the the end of cycle of bullish cycle for the for the, all the indices and I published already a kind of analysis where we see the level of the progression uh, for the all the the major indices so we can expecting a major correction on all. Of uh, all of uh, indices on, in Europe and also in uh, United States, so it could be the maybe the last bullish or the last rally because now the the, the of course the, the the dollar the the index of dollar it kind of uh, briefing it kind of like take a break and you retract some of pull back at this previous back level and then when is gonna like acting to going forward. Then the uh, the ind indices could just now go in back, but if he did that, this scenario as I described, he, he will be invalidated the descending wedge, the descending wedge. So it's kind of re re reinforce the uh, a bearish signal because if you do not like, uh, if you do not if you do not like validate the this uh, this bullish pattern. He will like reinforce all the seller of the market, so we can see like a major sell-off movement on the financial market. So that it's only only uh, validated if you fell on the twenty-five thousand level or twenty-five two hundred level. So this zone that that's why I show you here. It's very important zone for the for the last weekly resistance and last test as I, I wrote here. So just waiting be patient i think i know that is very tempted to to go in on the long but very careful with that because it could be a trap because as we see at the previous level you have a historic you see that here it's very work you, you see like kind of bullish movement as we break here it was in 2000 close to the end of 2017 and begin to 2018 and now here we very like temporize and we have doing a massive uh, historical price movement of level. So very careful with that. If we if we not if the the lagging span doesn't cross this zone, then you can uh, you can put some scenario for shorting and buy then the uh, the US dollar because it's very is a inverted correlated. So uh, for the gold is a pretty the same thing. Gold is very it's it's kind of duplicated the same uh, progression as the dollar because when the dollar uh, like is straight when the dollar is very uh, strong the gold is kind of weak okay because it's inverted correlated and then when the dollar just didn't didn't show like correctly or clearly the the movement of uh, the progression the gold doing the same thing but uh, at the opposite so right now. We can see that uh, kind of material materializations of 
of uh, uh, of the gold it, it show like kind of uh, of uh, begin of range but we can see that if he, he uh, construct some um, a, a support here as a thousand three hundred eighteen and this is our support here so if we break this support we can go in on the previous level on the back maybe uh, at the the first uh, top of of the um, the SSA for the Ishimoku cloud, or maybe at the the key June here at the uh, thousand uh, three three hundred fifteen, right? You can go into to going going back break all this level, so it lets a, a pretty much nice uh, merge for shorting gold as the same time as the dollar reinforce. And then you can buy the, the 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 back. You can buy the you can buy the the, the dip, because uh, my strategy on the on the gold is pretty uh, the same thing uh, since like the the back of uh, many uh, many years because I uh, I just want to buy the gold, but I cannot buy the gold like anywhere on the market. I just waiting that it could be the best price at the cheap as most. And then I can uh, in, in integrate to buy the gold because we can see since the the, the beginning of this uh, of this uh, on this this year the gold it tend to show us that he'll be bullish okay and if you break if you break out the the this um, like this uh, solid uh, blue line which is represent thousand three hundred twenty five. Then we can uh, we can see like a very long movement of the of the gold, but now it just like uh, it just looking for like a very strong support to uh, going forward. So my my uh, my scenario for the gold it's it's to be uh, bull bullish on the long term. So now we can finish with uh, the euro bond. Sorry. So as we can see at the euro bond, euro bond it's now a uh, kind of. I will show you. Euro bond here, as I told you before at this the previous uh, previous program, euro bond is kind of uh, it show you bearish because we fell at the uh, the support and resistance level here as I wrote the orange line. And then I show you, I I I told you before, to, if you go in here and you fail, we can short that, and that happened correctly as we we uh, I described to you. So now I'm just stay neutral, just waiting that it will be maybe it will be uh, maybe show us the materialization of this pattern, this fabulous pattern, which is uh, triple uh, triple uh, double double bottom, as we can see here. Like maybe this kind of scenario here and then you can go in on the long because on the long term for sure the real bond is is a, a kind of bullish because when we uh, we hear the, the the talk and the tone of uh, mario draghi i think he didn't he didn't he don't want to he don't, didn't hand to uh, to end the the program of the qe right and maybe the the next the, the next uh, the next person which is coming after Marija Gib maybe will just end definitively the massive uh, of a purchasing program assets. So then we can see, we can anticipate it, uh, some uh, a movement or the market can anticipate the movement of the uh, the collapse of the bond. Because if you stop that, if they, they stop to uh, increase and put money on the financial market, we can see kind of people will just uh, get rid of, of the bond, uh, treasury bond of the euro, right? So it's probably the same movement that you can see after that, that we going long and then after the, the if it break this purple line, it can now crash again on the on the previous level. So, so for, from now on, I'm just waiting about this materialization of this uh, or this um, this pattern. Then we can going into C here at the Elliot uh Elliot wave here you can go in back and also the previous level and then if you fail if you fail on the blue line like then i can uh, anticipate it or you can intend to buy the bond until september or also october which is the 
the um, the the expiry date of possibly the end of the uh, the euro bond. So this is my scenario for euro bond. And so I'll show now I'm just neutral. I'm just waiting that he coming at the here and probably or, or probably here to fail that, and then I can uh, enter the market for buying for the long term. So that is uh, all the the scenario that I would like to show you. So I will now I will show you the the recap for everything that we 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 saw we, we told before we said before. So USD card is technical is in the neutral and technical long term now for I'm now for just to stay neutral just waiting that the key level we just acting which is dollar twenty eight on the like on the resistance or dollar twenty seven dollar twenty seven four hundred which is the uh, the, uh, the resistance coming now the uh, uh, support so it's kind of pivot point so just waiting that the March market will be probably react on that if we break that we can short or if we if we reintegrate the dollar twenty eight we can buy then the the US the US the USD cap and the gold is pretty the same thing technical I see bearish so uh, we just see that we the movement we can break the support which is uh, 1,318 to going until 1,315. So the bearish for neutral and long term I see bullish. Euro bond is pretty same thing. The neutral, long term neutral after the, the the just the correction and then we can buy the dip and on the long term. This is my all 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 the things that I show you. It's all my my my, uh, my own uh, my own scenario and my own strategy that I intend to do. And the Dow Jones is pretty the same thing. It's a neutral to bullish technically right now and then after this uh, uh, rally for the for for, for the uh, like the retract of the dollar I the technical long term it could be uh, a bearish okay because we very close to the end of cycle of bullish cycle and uh, we have a major wave of four fourth and then we can see the correction technically before to uh, take like a, a, the end of a possibly long movement to the the next uh, coming years over so thank you so much for watching this uh, program if you like it or if you if you if you, if you find that it, very, it was very interesting please uh, let a comment on the reviews uh, on the on the reviews section on the facebook and share like it for boosting audience and i talk to you later thank you so much for watching this program it was francois abli for gstr canada it's uh, uh, 5.55. Thank you.